on the phone line to talk to us about the unfortunate event which is playing out right now in the state of Kerala. The, uh, we are here in uh, conversation with him to assess the damage so far, Mr. Isaac. Talk to us about uh, how are you assessing the situation on ground. The reports which we have so far seem to be suggesting that numbers are only worsening, but uh, rescue operations are on in full scale. I think the disaster has peaked. Uh, water level is at record levels. Um, there are landslides, widespread landslides all along the Western Ghats. But I think uh, the worst is over. Um, things are going to begin to stabilize. But I must say that um, in uh, um, Chalakudi River and Peria Basin, nearer to the metropolis of Kochi, things are worsening. Right. And Mr. also the upper Kutanar, the, the water level is still rising. But um, we are undertaking very rapid evacuation of the affected area. Normally it is not done. When you have camps in the locality itself and people are used to heavy rains and accommodate uh, uh, that's fine. But now these things are very different. I think the first flood in Kerala since 1924. And therefore, with the rising water level, what we have decided is to evacuate large uh, banks of area. For example, Chalakudi River, one kilometer on both sides have to be evacuated. Uh, similarly, we have designated areas where people are asked to move out uh, into the camp. Um, people initially were reluctant, but as water level rose, uh, they became a little bit panicky. Uh, but now the rescue operations have been streamlined. Uh, I think things are under control. In fact, we understand that the fatalities have been enormous over there, huge impact on human loss as well as property. Uh, have you been able to put a, uh, you know, some initial analysis? Uh, how much has been the damage? Uh, what kind of impact would your economy have? Of course, the human life loss, I uh, cannot capture the cost of it. Um, some I think death toll since the months of began has uh, now crossed the 300. And the overall loss to the economy is uh, today, I mean, yesterday I did some over the calculations and I would put it around uh, 15,000 crores uh, today. Um, big. Uh, um, one, uh, houses damaged and destroyed. Uh, two, uh, the total disruption of electricity, connectivity, and uh, water, and the huge uh, loss in uh, crops. In fact, the entire paddy crop of Kerala has been wiped out. We're told and, that uh, all the key so, cities. So we are told that all the key cities have been impacted. All major districts have been impacted, and uh, you have sought. Uh, resources, help from the center as well uh, in terms of additional helicopters from the forces and uh, even additional funds from the center. Uh, would you be requiring more yes, help? It has affected the entire state, uh, not the some locality. Initially, the floods began with uh, uh, the, it is a huge... Uh, right. All right, uh, Mr. Isaac, uh, we'll let you go. Thank you very much for chatting with us and uh, we really hope that uh, this entire calamity is uh, contained with the help both at the uh, center as well as uh, the state. Our uh, you know, early indications are that administration over there is really working very hard to bring uh, you know, life back to normalcy. Thank you very much for chatting with us right now.